All right, most of the flows that I build and work with uh, leverage SharePoint, whether it's SharePoint libraries or SharePoint lists. And one of the questions I get a lot from people is, well, what if I'm using a Microsoft list? Now, let's be perfectly honest, Microsoft lists are SharePoint lists. They're the same functionality, the same technology. Uh, the differences in how you access them. For, for example, here I'm in the Microsoft Lists app. Uh, here is a travel request list with lives in a Power Automate Sandbox site. Uh, I also have a recipe tracker list here which lives in my list. So this is a personal list. This is my own list. I created it. I'm the only one who has access to it and it lives in my personal site collection which is the same place where my OneDrive stuff lives. So key point of that is that when I leave an organization or this particular organization then this list is also going to be deleted because my entire personal site collection gets deleted at some point after I leave. Uh, so just keep that in mind as you're building if you are building flows that are meant to be used by other people you probably don't want to base it on a list that is a personal list you probably want that to be a SharePoint list or basically a Microsoft list that is that exists in a SharePoint site. But assuming I wanted to use build a workflow um, or a flow using this list, so basically this is a recipe tracker list and I want to be able to recommend these recipes to someone. So basically I want to build a flow where I can send an email to send the link to this uh, particular item uh, to any email address I, I give it. Uh, so the way to do that is basically go over to Power Automate and here I'm going to create a new flow. This will be an instant flow because I want to select an item and then choose to send it. So, and I will call this send recipe to someone. And then I'm going to go look for the for a selected item SharePoint trigger. So I'll select that. Now the catch with building a flow connected to a personal list is that when you go into a SharePoint action and, and it, you see a list of site addresses, you will not see the site that where your personal lists live. So what we need to do is enter that as a custom value. So I'll go back over to my recipe tracker and copy everything before the forward slash that's in front of lists. So basically all of this uh, up to that list. So I'll just copy that, control C, and then over here I will select enter a custom value, control V, and give it a moment to load. And now I can select my recipe tracker list. So quick and easy, that's how you do it. That's how you connect to a personal list. And if you were doing something else like creating an item in that list, then it would be the same process. Just, you know, in the site address field, select custom value, paste in the address that you copied from the uh, list URL and you're good to go.